Yeah, I take responsibility for my actions, and that includes uh, the fact that these are probably the poorest quality uh, videos on YouTube. I'm not experienced at this. Uh, my expertise was in other areas, and you can't be good at everything. Uh, so this is one of my downfalls. Um, nevertheless, I'm hoping I'm getting get the message across. Before I carry on, uh, I do want to point out the only reason I'm now doing this, even though it's after the election, because if I don't, the psychopath I've referred to is uh, going to claim, see, he's put nothing on, therefore he's done nothing. I've actually uploaded it twice, and I did get a message saying it's on, but I can't find it, so I'm not sure what's happened. So I've got to redo it, and the other thing, I've got to make it obviously a lot shorter. So I'm going to put on about... Uh, well, I don't know, one, two, three percent of my so-called achievements, seeing the uh, psychopath says I've achieved nothing. Uh, but I designed and built my own home. Uh, designing and building it, yeah, probably not a big deal in some people's opinion, but it's more than what the psychopath has done in his life. But the biggest thing is I paid for it out of my hard, honest work. Not bad for a guy that uh, designing and building it who um, didn't... Uh, didn't have an education as far as what uh, most people are concerned. And having said that, I got a big shock later on when um, I wanted to buy a business and I was asked that I, well, told that I, before they give me the Form 2 tax legal documents, that um, I needed to take a psychology test. And I didn't have much faith in it, but I'll get to that in a later date. I probably won't even have time on this. But uh, my house, I had three objectives and uh, one was to make it look small from the front. And that I achieved that objective, even though the house was 29 squares altogether. It was through my hard work that I paid for it. And my kids think uh, Westlake's uh, <laughs> by the lake is a lower class area because that's what the ex-wife uh, was convincing them. Uh, oh, God, there's many stories. I do on Evil Sick, okay. One of my other great achievements compared to the psychopath, I had four kids. Well, now that I know that uh, studied uh, psychopaths, uh, I know that they're promiscuous. I wouldn't have thought that of my wife earlier, but anyway, obviously now with everything else that uh, uh, adds up to the events that happen, actions speak louder than words. I'm a great believer in that. Um, having said that, $1 million per child... Right, and I had not f just the four, uh, if you count my ex-wife and her mother and her hangers-on that were, had their hands in my pocket all the bloody time because they were so lazy. Yes, psychopaths um, lead a parasitic lifestyle and live off the work of others. Uh, I can count five and a half, although I didn't have to educate them and uh, buy every... Well, I, the, the ex had a car and that was... Uh, uh, everything, uh, the clothes and uh, holidays. Anyway, I was uh, offered uh, one of about uh, eight jobs. Uh, this particular one was actually taking over a business and a couple of the eight I'm, I'm actually referring to were taking over businesses, about three of them. This particular one I was asked by Nick, same surname from Sydney, if I'd take over because they were ready to close down. He had a guy as the distributor in South Australia, He'd sold one kitchen in uh, eight months. I, uh, uh, after many discussions, uh, because I didn't have the finance to take over, anyway, we resolved them, etc., and we moved on. Uh, I took over with no training whatsoever. I sold nine in the first month. Why? Six of them were from people who were too scared to deal with the previous guy because they didn't trust him. Because I asked people, how come you didn't buy it? And everyone told me we didn't trust him, but we trust you. This is one of many uh, thank you letters that I got for designing their kitchens. I had architects, not the first uh, year or two, but later on I had architects coming to me, asking me to design their kitchens. And I got the reputation as the best, uh, and there's a lot of editorials in News Limited, uh, which was an afternoon newspaper at that time, uh, stating that I was the best. Having said that, um, the the couple of photos you saw earlier, um, and there's a couple of others that are not in there, I had my designs in national magazines. So not only uh, was the fact that I was asked to take over from a business that was ready to close down, uh, but to have these in national magazines, that's more than what the psychopath has achieved in his lifetime. Uh 
Unfortunately, after five uh, years or so, we end up doing about five years, we end up getting a request by this company to do, uh, yeah, and these two shonks, I don't know who's worse, but yeah, I know my brother's worse. Um, but we did a Dunham Bradstreet, and if you, no one knows what that's about, uh, check it up on uh, Google. They're supposed to be a company that tells you, yes, uh, you, you know, companies are going broke or they're good payers and that. Well, the... I'm sure I'm not the only one, but the report was false. And, um, yeah, in the end, they reckon that one of the projects was worth $7 million, et cetera. And, uh, yeah, we end up later on after this, uh, about a month or two later, we started doing the work by the time we finished the kitchens. And, uh, yeah, they did the Lamani Motel at, um, at uh, valued at $1.5 million. This is $1979, of course. And this is the eight homes at Wattle Street, and I did uh, 12 in and around the corners from there, etc. But anyway, yeah, uh, we did the job, and then uh, they went broke. So much for Dunham Bradstreet. But I did the right thing. I had a gut feeling they weren't any good, but I thought, no, nah, it's too much business. I'll do it in Dunham Bradstreet, taking their word for it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. But I didn't go bankrupt. I knew I couldn't trade, so I closed the business down, but we didn't owe anybody money. Uh, we didn't shonk anybody, no nothing. Uh, on this building, uh, soon after that, he asked me if I would join him. Uh, he had a business he was trying to run for three years, and he was actually losing money because he's so low intelligence. Um, but I went with him, and first time we went there, I said to him, what are you going on about? You know, you're married, you've got a couple of kids, etc." Because he thought he was hot, and that's what psychopaths, so I found out recently, is um, think they are. They're not. They just think they are. And then uh, this guy owed him. Uh, I did the work, and this guy owed him the money, and he goes not only throwing himself at the door three or four times, and then I oh, kicked it first, uh, couldn't open it, and then he throws himself uh, at the door. Um, yeah, because the guy owed him some money, and yet he owes a lot of people, a lot of money. I don't see him throwing himself at the door, ready to pay them back. And having said that, about a week ago, he uh, went ballistic again because I exposed him. That's what psychopaths do. When they're exposed, they make the person, they go ballistic for a start, and then they um, per the person who exposes them, they make them out to be the liars. They make them, they put the blame back on them. Um, yeah, he totally damaged the door to my bedroom about a week ago, and he's running for Parliament. Yeah, the election was last night. Uh, he didn't get in. But anyway, another achievement, I restored the Adelaide Town Hall. I didn't have any experience, but I did a great job that they touted my name everywhere as being the best, and that was with my first job. No training, no nothing, but anyway, the GPO people... Um, there's uh, evidence in the newspaper, it's on the record, there was no work there for three years. I was asked to recommence the project because they stuffed the tower. And at the end of the project, they asked me if I would go to the Sydney to restore the Sydney GPO. Then my wife said, oh, I'm not moving, and uh, little did I know at that stage, uh, that was one of the 500 excuses why she should stay by the lake at West Lakes rather than... Uh, where she'd come from, not that we were going to live in a house like that in Sydney or anywhere else, but she thought if we moved to Sydney and never come back by the lake and whatever, uh, totally delusional, I didn't realise it at the time. I, and having said that, with her admitting that she's a slut, uh, I just want to make it clear that not one time did I ever raise a hand to her. Um, and there's uh, other things I can go into, but not one time did I raise a hand to. In fact, I protected women. I got into fights earlier, uh, including stepping in when my father was beating my mother about once a week, and then I got it every day. Didn't understand then why, but now I understand because I interfered with his business of his rights to beat my mother, and I got it every single day from about seven and a half till about uh, 13 and a half, every single day. But I, I'm not complaining, I, uh, I consider lessons learned out of there. This project, uh, it's a thank you letter, this alone is more than what the psychopath has achieved in his lifetime. This is another great story, this guy here abused me. Why is it great when he abused me? Because in the end, the reason he abused me is because I wasn't in the white pages.
and in the end I end up doing, uh, what is it, nine or ten projects for you all together, hands until my body gave up. Um, but anyway, this is another one, one of the jobs that I was offered. Uh, this was actually a job, not a business. Um, I told the guy from the council, I can't carry on, my body's giving up, uh, I've got to find something else to do. He came back a week later and offered me a job uh, for the council. I was reluctant to take, there's a lot that went in between, but I was reluctant. I finally took it on and um, went ahead. I created the uh, incentive schemes, which has gone Australia-wide. Uh, there's so much, I created the policy for graffiti which went Australia wide they are more than what the uh, psychopath has done I resigned from the council because I refused to lie um, you can see here on the 9th of uh, thing anyway tended your resignation and yet they wrote to me on the 21st uh, this letter is because I resigned I didn't get fired that's what the psychopath will have you believe I got fired from jobs no way but I wouldn't change the reports and lie for them I would only tell the truth. Oh, there's a lot more. Uh, the three of the biggest things I've got. A, I've got a, um, letters there from uh, Clyde Cameron uh, saying I'm the greatest. Uh, the guy most respected, what I consider the most respected media guy in Adelaide. Uh, he's on radio. He used to have a program uh, on TV for many years as well. And um, I restored his house. It was only a small job, but at the end he paid me the biggest verbal compliment. You are the world's greatest. I said it's a bit much anyway. I uh, skip along. The, my work won Adelaide International Award in 1994. Uh, 1995, the government started exporting my expertise. It culminated in a job in Hong Kong. I put a brochure together then, 24-page colour brochure, uh, before going to Hong Kong. And we went to Shanghai as well. Uh, the Hong Kong job won a UNESCO award. The psychopath uh, probably is intelligence he won't understand what UNESCO says. So somebody please explain it to him. That is the world's highest award you can get in that particular field. And what have I, what have I achieved, he says. Nothing. Oh, and uh, Shanghai, I got six phone calls after coming back and I got letters and emails, sorry, faxes. I can show later on on Evil Sicko Co. Um, sorry, Evil Sicko Clan. I'm trying to finish it off before it's too long. Uh, to show that um, they wanted me to go back to Shanghai to start work on a building. Uh, this is only a small percentage. I can't even put my volunteer work. Oh, by the way, I'm going to put a fourth one on, and this is mainly aimed at uh, Clive Palm or somebody from uh, one of his representatives. Uh, if they see it, pass it on to him, because uh, this psychopath, what psychopaths are very good at is manipulating uh, he's not only manipulated my mother, his ex-wife, and uh, one of his kids, but he manipulates anybody that he sees. That's all they do. But anyway, that particular one is going to be because he's going to manipulate certain things, and I'm going to tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth on uh, video number four.